I need to drill one hole into this enclosure and I want to highlight something that I did wrong a lot when I was earlier in my career. As used to, I would just measure across here, find my center mark, grab my drill, and drill the one hole and that would look perfect for the customer. But what happens when all of a sudden we need to add a second hole? And the first one is not like two and five sixty-fourths or some millimeter, is you end up with a really wavy set of buttons. So even if you're only putting one button in, go ahead and measure it and make it something even. So I wanna be two inches down. And mainly that's something later on I can probably remember is two inches. Don't make it something like an inch and seven eighths. And arguably, as long as it's close, I would make it even across here. So this is a 47 and a half inch panel. I'm actually gonna put this at 24 inches. And if somebody's nitpicky enough to notice that that thing is a quarter inch out of center, well then, I didn't give them a lot to nitpick about on the rest of the panel, but I'll be able to add or subtract two inches later on and keep my spacing nice and even. I'm gonna put this at 24 inches, two inches down, and then get you a real bit, such as this ideal hole cutter. Don't try to cut holes through control panels with hole saws. And then if you already have components in your control panel, then put something in here to guard the shavings from going down on them. And with a good hole cutter, it'll zoom right through. And then please deburr your hole. Even though I know you're getting ready to put a button in it, that way when I'm changing the button out later on, I don't cut my finger. 